I'm Steph, we got Chris behind the camera, and we're hungry to travel. Today we're in the beautiful city of Antalya, and we're gonna head off on a food tour, trying a couple local specialties, as well as some foods that we've never tried before here in Turkey. Let's go see what we can find. It's another windy day here in Antalya. We're here at Tarihi Hadrian Pilavjisi where we have got the Tavuk Pilav, which is chicken and rice. And it looks like it comes with some beans as well. I love rice, so I'm pretty excited about this. I'm just gonna try some chicken first. Mmm. That's really nice chicken. It's very tender. It's not at all dry or anything like that. It's really, really soft. That's really good. Oh, it looks like we have chickpeas here. So let's get some chickpeas with the chicken. And we can get an ultimate bite of all of it together to see what it's like. Mmm. <laughs> wow, that rice is super buttery. I love rice, especially buttery rice, because I love butter. You can see, just as I pull some of the top of the rice away, you can see the sort of greasiness, but not greasiness, of the butter there. Oh, that's really nice. Oh yeah, you can see just even on the spoon a little bit there. Mmm. Wow. That's just straight up buttery rice. Oh, this is so good. And with the nice chicken on top as well, and the chickpeas, the chickpeas are nice, they're boiled. So they're soft, but still have a little bit of um, texture to them, which is nice. So it goes well with the rice as well. Mmm. These pilaf places are actually really popular here in Turkey. You can recognize them by the big pile of rice sitting in the window at the front of the store. And we've seen these at many places that we've been to, but we've never had a chance to try it yet. So this is great to try it and the perfect breakfast, perfect way to start our day today. We were recommended to try the black pepper on it as well. Mmm. That adds a really nice flavor to it. Mmm. We're also just told the reason you see so many of these pilav places around because this is a very, very traditional Turkish dish. And the reason the rice is so, so tasty is because apart from all the butter that they put on it, they actually make and boil the rice with the chicken juices and the chicken stock as well. So it gives it such a nice, rich flavor. So no wonder I am loving this right now. Our tavuk pilav cost 25 Turkish lira, which is about 250 Canadian or $1.90 USD. And you can get it all different ways. You can get just the plain rice with the chickpeas. Um, you can get it with lamb, quite a few other different kinds of toppings, but definitely the most popular is the chicken pilav. So this was a great choice. You can have this pilav. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was delicious. <laughs> Bye. One bar? Hmm? Uh, two? Yes. Yeah. Teşekkürler. 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 
We've got our Yannick Dandrema, which is special to Antalya. It's a special type of ice cream that's called burnt ice cream. It's made with fatty goat's milk, and when the uh, milk comes to a boil, it's actually burnt, so it should have burnt flavor. So let's give it a try. Burn. Oh, burn. wow, yeah. Burn. Burn. Mm -hmm. Not mm. friend, not friend. Ice cream, not friend? Yeah, it's very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Turkish, Turkish ice cream, not Yeah, like a Don mm. Mm. <laughs> It has um, such a burnt flavor. Actually, that's really interesting. And because it's a Turkish ice cream, it's less melty than a regular ice cream, so it's a bit thicker with the salad as well. Wow, that is so different. I've never tasted anything like that before. It's really creamy though, and with the addition of the salad, quite sweet and sugary, but definitely has a strong burnt flavor. Wow, what a crazy specialty to try here in Antalya. This is really, really good, really interesting. Dom de Ma is a uh, Chuck Guzel. Mm. Chuck Guzel, very good, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this Thank is you. great. <laughs> Thank you. My, my father, that uh, ice cream, uh, chef, master chef. Okay? Master Usta. Uh, Usta, chef. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah, ice cream okay. Usta. <laughs> ice cream Usta. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Turkish ice cream. If you come to Antalya, you definitely have to come to Feyaz Dandurma to try their special burning ice cream. It really tastes like burning, like burnt, but it is so good and so interesting. Not at all what I imagined it would taste like for an ice cream. This is really good. You have to come here to try this out. Bye-bye, <laughs> That was so cool. I'm so glad that we got to try this here. This is such a different, interesting flavor. Oh my goodness. You definitely have to try this in Antalya. Never had anything like this before. We got some peanuts from the peanut cart man and it feels like it's about half a kilo. So it's a lot of peanuts for 10 Turkish lira, which is less than a dollar Canadian or a dollar US. Good deal for all these peanuts. I love peanuts too. Ooh. As you can see here, they're like red shelled peanuts. Nuts are so popular here in Turkey. Oh, those are really good. Mmm, really, really salty. Wow. Mmm. Normally, I like my peanuts unsalted, but these salty red peanuts are really, really good. I'm gonna take my peanuts for a walk. Yes. Uh, 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 uh,
Gelsin. Gel. That was such a cool way of getting a Turkish coffee made, the Turk Kavesi, in that sand. So they call it like a sand coffee, the way it's prepared in the hot sand. That was so cool. So let's see, it's a lovely setup here actually. So you got the Turkish coffee here that I think she put inside this awesome little Turkish coffee mug. Shot of water with your Turkish coffee as well. And ooh, look at those little chocolates. So we got it with a little bit of sugar only, but ooh, look at all that froth. Wow, as soon as I took the lid off there, it smells so good. It's piping hot as well. Ooh, that's good. Quite strong too. Oh, that's really, really tasty. So hot, so fresh. Ooh, it's a macadamia nut. Got your chocolate, got your water to cleanse your palate, and you got your Turkish coffee. That's perfect. And all this for 20 Turkish Lira, which is about $2 Canadian or $1.50 USD. Can't go wrong. We've had such a great and fun day walking around and exploring some more of Antalya today, but we are officially getting hungry, so we are gonna head off now to our last stop of the day to get some dinner. We're here at Can Can P Day because we looked on the menu and we saw that they had a dish that we haven't really seen at a lot of other restaurants. It's called Kirimet Kushbashi. So we're really excited to try it and it's gonna be good. Wow, look at this sizzle. Look at all that meat and all that cheese. That nice crust of cheese on top. So it looks like there's tomatoes, green peppers, lots and lots of pieces of beef in there. Oh wow, look how cheesy this is. It smells incredible too. Mmm. Wow, so it's got kind of like a tomato flavor to it. Mmm, really beefy. There's so much beef pieces in there. Oh. You know what this tastes like? It tastes like a pizza almost, like the toppings of a pizza without the bread. Oh, you can see there how cheesy it is and some of the pieces of the beef are have like burnt ends to it. So it gives it a really nice crispy taste to it as well. Mmm. This is really good. I like this. Of course, with our salty meal, you always have to have your salty iron to go with it. It's good iron. Like I said, it tasted like a pizza, so I guess with the lovely pide bread, you can kind of make your own slice of pizza. Hmm, this cheesy, beefy clay bowl of goodness is 35 Turkish Lira, which is about 350 Canadian or 250 USD. So this is the perfect salty dinner to end our day. Hmm. 
That does it for this edition of our food tour here in Antalya, Turkey. If you enjoyed our video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you leave us a comment below because we'd love to hear from you all. And make sure you subscribe to our channel to keep caught up with all of our fun food adventures. We're hungry to travel and we'll see you next meal.